Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my sorting activity for my lesson plan. So here I have a bunch of printed out shapes and for my lesson every student would have a copy of all the shapes so they could each sort individually. So to start they would need to decide how to sort them. So I started by sorting by sides. So I'm just going to sort by number of sides. So there's four here four here, there's no sides, six, that one has four, One has four. I don't have any eight sided ones, so I put that one alone. Four. There's five here. I have two. Three sides are right here, and five are up here. So then I'm going to write down how I sorted them. So these have three sides. No sides. Four sides. This one has eight sides, six sides, and if you guys notice, the six and eight sides don't have very many shapes. Four, five sides. <clears throat> okay, so I have sorted all of the shapes. Next, I would have the students discuss with a partner and see if they got all the right shapes in the different categories. And then I would lead into a discussion about what they notice about each of the shapes. So for example, up here in my four sides, I have two squares. They both have four sides, but they're different sizes. So they go in the same category, even though they are different sizes. Or like my two trapezoids both have four sides different sizes different heights and then I have two rhombuses that are also similar but different heights okay and then for triangles I would talk about the same thing how they're they all have three sides but they look different or like these two, they look the same, but they are different sizes, but they still go in the same category. Um, and then just my five-sided shapes over here, like this one is a pentagon, but this one, I don't know. I don't think third graders would know what it was called. So they would just leave that in the five sides. All right, and that is my sorting activity.